Hey guys, today we're going to be going over a couple of line segment problems, or distance of line segment problems, finding x, finding what they're equal to, all that good stuff. We have two separate problems here. I'm going to start with this one and then we'll move over there. Um, but we're going to do both of them on this line. So problem number one uh, has a lot of given information. And the way I always like to start these is by writing down that given information or labeling it on my diagram at least. So I know a to b is 3x minus 1, okay? And I know bc is 13, and I know ac is 6x. So I gotta figure out what do I do with this information? How can I figure out what x is? Well, we have to write an equation based off this diagram that we have and based off the information we're given. So we need to ask an important question. Are AB and BC congruent? Are they equal to each other? Are they the same? Do we know? Unfortunately, we don't. The fact of the matter is, maybe they are. But we don't have any for sure reason to believe that B is a midpoint. So we can't actually say that for sure. Now I know right there it says it is, but that's a different problem. So let's ignore this for now, because in problem one it doesn't tell us that. So um, we have to make an equation, and what immediately pops to my mind is, you know, we're dealing with two smaller segments that make up a larger one, so there's a pretty easy addition problem that I can set up. I can say that AB plus BC equals AC. My two smaller segments together make my larger segment. That makes sense. Now that I have my equation set up, I can substitute in what they are equal to. So AB is 3x minus 1, BC is 13, and AC is 6x. Well now this looks like an equation that you'd probably solve in an algebra class, right? Let's go ahead and do this. We have a couple terms to combine here. We have minus 1 and 13. So really, we have 3x plus 12 equals 6x. We can move our 3x to the other side. Subtract 3x to cancel those out. And get 12 equals 6x minus 3x, or 3x. Divide by 3. And x equals 12 over 3, or 4. Guess what? We just solved it. We're already done. If we wanted to plug that 4 in, we could actually check. We could see how long is the line. You know, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. So this one's 11, that one's 13. Looks like the whole thing must be 24, which makes sense because 6 times x, or 6 times 4, is 24. That's a way that we can check our work on these problems. All right, so that's number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second problem that I have up here. Let me erase this and get it out of the way. So problem number two starts off with an important bit of information. B bisects AC. Now let's remember that, that verb there, bisect, means the same thing as B is a midpoint. It cuts it into two equal halves. So we know right off the bat, guess what? These are equal to each other. I'm gonna go ahead and label my information though. AB is 2x plus four, and BC is 4x minus two. Now we don't know anything about AC as a whole, and we also don't know anything about X. What can we do to figure that out? Well. We said a really critical thing a minute ago, that these are equal to each other. And any time we can write an equation, and we know everything in that equation, then we can use it to help us solve for something, right? If we can say that since B is the midpoint, AB is equal to or uh, congruent to BC, then we can actually set up this equation. 2x plus 4 equals... 4x minus 2. Now, we have just another algebra problem like we did before, so I'm going to solve this. Subtract that 2x on both sides. Uh, get 4x minus 2x to be 2x. 
add that two to the other side, get those to cancel out, and we get six. So two X equals six. Now let's get X on its own. And we find out that X equals, there it is, three, right? Cool, X equals three. Now the last question we have to answer is, what's AC? How can we figure that out? Well, we created an equation with the first problem that kind of addressed that. We said that these two smaller segments make up the larger segment, so therefore AB uh, and BC will, will make AC, right? Now it doesn't matter whether B is a midpoint or not in that situation. It could be, it couldn't be. Regardless, two smaller segments are gonna make up a larger segment. That's just a true statement regardless. So if we can figure out what A, B, or B, C is numerically, then we're good. So let's go ahead and take that value of X and plug it in. So two, and instead of X, I'll write three plus four. Now two times three is six, and six plus four means this line segment is 10, AB is 10. Do we even need to plug it into this one? No, we don't, because B is the midpoint, so they're equal, so that one's 10 as well. So really, we're saying AB is 10, BC is 10, so AC must be, yeah, AC is 20 units long. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of amazing to me that we can take such little information as just this and, and say, oh yeah, we know it's 20 units. Nice whole number, no variables, no nothing. Just that little bit of information can get us all the way there. <laughs> That's incredible, at least in my own opinion. So if you have any questions about other line segment problems, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.